Hey everyone, John with Simplice here, and I'm going to quickly talk about using the Simplice Studio feature, Blocks and Master Blocks. So let's click this Blocks tab, and you'll see we already have some pre-made block layouts, and we can just start dragging these out onto our page. Uh, I have this nice hero section here. I'm just going to quickly change the background image out. Save that. And you can see I already have this very nice hero section that's already pre-made. And then I'll go back through here. We have the just a it's a really great different variety of options to choose from. And these are just great to quickly build out and lay out your page. Um, I'll choose this editorial layout, drag it onto my page, and there we go. A very nice predefined layout. And I can just go ahead and once again swap out the image. I'll choose this image right here. It's looking good already. I'll save that. And then let's go ahead and customize this button to match the rest of our page a little bit better. I'll set a custom color. You can then go ahead and just start modifying the type a little bit here. I'll Set a color, set a nice font, and let's go ahead and just lay out a couple more, one more block here just to fill this page out. Um, looking through, let's do a, let's do a quote section. So I'll drag that onto the page once again. We have this nice big quote section. I'll swap out the background. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, and then let's add just, let's add a footer just to complete this here. Okay, it's looking good so far in the editor, so let's go ahead and preview on the live page. All right, scrolling on through, this is already looking fantastic. And you saw how quick it was to put this whole page together. So the pre-made layouts are really nice for just a nice starting point for your page. So another aspect of blocks is you also have the ability to save any content you've created as your own custom block. So this is really handy for just keeping things consistent throughout your site and you could reuse these blocks later at any time. And this goes for the content column or section as well. So I'm going to select my section. I'm going to click save as block. I'm going to give it an internal name and then I'm going to click save. And if I go to, let's go to a different page here. And I'm going to go up to blocks again. I'm going to go to my blocks here. And you can see my save block that I created. I'm just going to drag it onto the page. And there is that same block again being used. And you can just keep on dragging these as needed and use them throughout your site. So just a really handy feature. Now, another aspect of blocks is you have the ability to save a master block. And essentially what that is, is a global form of a block. So if you make changes to it, it will update throughout your site. So to show you what this is, I'm going to create a new block here and I'm going to select block type as master. I'll call this my new master block. I'll hit save. All right, so now I'm going to exit out of this page. And let's just create a, a new page for demonstration purposes. And I'll go back to my blocks. There's my new master block. Let's drag it onto the page. And let's just change some content here. I'm going to make a text edit. And let's swap out that background color as well. Okay, and I'll go back to the previous page where I had that master block on. And let's see if it's updated. 
Oh, yep, there we go. There's our updated section. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something, and as always, keep on rocking with some police.